Well, we got away out of Dunedin for a few days last week to um, just because we had cabin fever, really. I mean, been locked down for so long, it's great to get out and about. But there's still work arriving. And this one is one that I'll be dealing with sometime very shortly. As you can see, it ain't pretty. So, what's going on here? Well, the exposure meter. This is your traditional Retina 3 small c. Should have a metal flap on here. There's no metal flap. The hinge points for the metal flap are gone. So the meter housing has had it. What about the meter itself? It responds to light. I press on, pressed on that selenium cell at the front, which pushes it backwards slightly, makes good contact briefly, and it means that the, uh, the I can see that the cell is lively. Will it be accurate? No, probably not. The selenium cells have pretty much had their day now. What else? Well, the top of the camera here is clearly missing the accessory shoe, but there is some nasty stuff sitting on the top here. It looks vaguely to me like someone has tried to glue the shoe in place and uh, clearly that wasn't hell of a successful. Anything else? Well you can see that the hinge screw at the bottom of the door is busy burrowing its way out through the leatherette there. I can tell the tripod socket screws must be loose because the tripod socket's a bit rattly. The front does open. It's not particularly keen on the idea, but it does open. The focus even moves. Take the lens off. And you can see the shutter blades are open. The diaphragm does work. Does the shutter cock? Oh, something happens there. So a cocking rack is present. It looks like the shutter is just gummed up. It's also possible the cocking rack has lost a tooth on the end and it's not quite timed correctly. But the shutter is very, very sticky. It doesn't leave much, I suppose, does it? I'll have a pierce through the viewfinder, let you know what I see. Yeah, I can just about make out the scene outside the window here. Only just, and only because I know what I'm supposed to be able to see. It is extremely hazy. It's very hard to see through that viewfinder. Certainly that needs to be serviced. So, and that lens is a bit reluctant to clip into place, but it does go. So, one more ugly Retina 3C to be dealt with. Now, while I was away, I got a parcel of cameras that I'd purchased for myself. Now, they were, it was a whole bundle of cameras and there were no promises made about the condition of any of them. But there was a Retina 3C in amongst the bunch. It's got one obvious problem. No front lens. So, I'll um, have to hunt through my box of bits and pieces and see if I've got a lens set that I can fit to this camera. It looks fairly tidy. I wouldn't say it's the tidiest example. It's, uh, it's an awful lot better in condition than the Retina 3 Big C that I have in my collection. And that's a story all of its own. Anything else to note? Viewfinder is a bit hazy. Camera opens and shuts. Focus moves smoothly. Oh, film advance is a bit stiff, a bit reluctant to go back to the park position, but the shutter fires. 
so the cocking rack is probably not too bad. This is very, very dusty. You can possibly see the colour of this, it's very dusty. It's obviously been sitting somewhere, probably on display on an open shelf for some time. The exposure meter, I can't really see much through the top there. That uh, window is so filthied up, it's hard to see through it. But I can't see any sign of response to light here. So it suggests that the selenium cell is completely exhausted or the movement is um, buggered. Um, take your pick. A couple of Zeiss bumps on the back. Nothing of un great note inside the camera. That looks quite tidy as these things go. So this one. First I've got to find a lens set for it. If I find a lens set, then I'll be right. I'll service this camera. And this one, I may keep it. As I say, it's considerably prettier than the one I have in my collection. Or I might send it off to a new home. So there's two cameras that I've got uh, to deal with at some stage in the very near future. Not necessarily starting today. I thought you'd like a quick glimpse at that and um, hopefully I'll get some interesting content for you shortly. Thanks for watching.